Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's happening? So, I'm on here because I want to talk about this whole controversy behind the Cleopatra movie on Netflix. And also, the whole controversy behind Egypt, okay? So, there was a movie that came out on Netflix about Cleopatra. And Cleopatra happened to look like a brown-skinned Egyptian woman, right? So, I mean, she don't even look as black (laughs) from what I see. She don't look that black. She looks maybe a a shade lighter than me, okay? But there's a whole controversy around it because the Egyptians uh, accused Netflix of blackwashing her, all right? And then I have read somewhere where there's an Egyptian scholar, supposedly, that wants to pretty much separate Egypt from Africa. Okay? So, there's a lot of things that's going on. And then there's the nonstop argument about whether the Egyptian people were black or white or whatever. Okay? So, where I stand on this position is, first of all, I don't think that everybody in Egypt (laughs) was 100% black, as we call it today, okay? I think that there's, like, different groups of people in Egypt, okay? There are those who may look like my complexion and those who look like they're close to being Arabian, okay? So this whole argument about whether the Egyptian people are black or not is getting kind of old in my opinion, um, is pretty nonsensical because we don't really know a lot about ancient Egypt history and most of it is like the the information that we do know is probably like 1%, 2% because there's a lot more, okay? Um, So we don't really know exactly the phenotype of a lot of those Egyptian during that time period, okay, in ancient Egypt, all right? So, we can't go around saying that everybody was a dark-skinned complexion. We can't say everybody was a light-skinned complexion because as African people in general, right, we are a diverse people, okay? As African-descended people, we're, we're very diverse. So, we're not just one phenotype, okay? We're not one skin tone. All right. That's one thing. Now, as far as trying to make Egypt <laughs> more Middle Eastern like, that that's a problem in itself because Egypt will always be part of Africa. Now, yes, it is transcontinental, meaning that there's part of Egypt that's like on that peninsula to the Middle East or whatnot, but majority of Egypt is in Africa, especially if y'all talking about the Nile Valley, right? Um, if you talk about Kush, which is Upper Egypt and Northern Sudan, okay, that that's pretty much Africa, all right. Um, I want to say this: Egypt, as we know today, modern Egypt is taken over by the Arabs. Okay, the Arabs have taken over modern Egypt, and the language, predominantly speaking, as far as the official language is concerned, is Arabic. It's Egyptian Arabic, and the religious practice is predominantly Islam, okay? So, as far as that goes, um, yeah, the, uh, the Arabs over there that's pretty much taken over, they want Egypt to be more Middle Eastern and less African. Let's just be technical, okay? And I can guarantee you that the people over there is dealing with a lot of racism. All right? So we don't really hear much from the people, if we're going to call them black Egyptian or people that's like dark skin complexion, we don't hear much about, uh, much as far as like where they stand on their position and, you know, them giving their own account, okay? So most of the time when we hear stuff coming from the Egyptian people, we hear from these light-skinned Egyptian, the ones that look like they close to being Arab. That's who we really hear it from. We don't hear from those who might be a darker skin complexion. So 
I can guarantee you that they are dealing with racism at an all-time high. That I can guarantee you. And I will say this, and I have seen videos where there were some people from Egypt, not everybody, but there were some who identified themselves as being black. This, this is not me making this, this up. This is what I have came across. I came across certain videos where there are those in Egypt who identify themselves as being black because they wanted to separate themselves from the other Egyptian, right? Because they were encountering the, the situation of racism. Okay. See, and the whole thing is, um, yeah, with the Arabs taking over that area, they're pretty much trying to do their best to erase the ancient Egyptian history. They want to make it more Middle Eastern. They want it to be predominantly Islamic, even with the language. All right. The last language that is still surviving from the Medunetta, as what people call it, is the Coptic language. And the only reason why the Coptic language is still around is because you have Coptic Christians. OK, that speak those languages. I mean, speak that language, excuse me. Yeah, so you have the Coptic Christian that speak that language, okay? But predominantly speaking, as far as the official language is concerned, it's Arabic. So go to show you that the modern Egyptian people, or the people that's over there right now, they don't care too much about no ancient Egyptian history. They don't care about ancient Egyptian history. They don't care about uh, King Tut. They don't care about uh, Nefertari and all of them. They They don't. As far as they're concerned, it don't make a difference. It don't matter. As far as they're concerned. So they're going to do what they can to get rid of and erase their history. And it's really sad. It's really sad because when we have learned about ancient Egypt and Kemet, slash Kemet, we learned that it's the foundation of civilization, right? Like what Rome and Greek was to Europe, Egypt was to Africa. And you erase the ancient Egyptian history, that's going to put that, that's going to that's gonna be very detrimental to the people that was there, whose ancestor was there before others came in and took over. You taking away the, the historical values of ancient Egypt. Now, ancient Egypt been through a lot of evasion. That's another thing we got to look at. Okay? Ancient Egypt been through a lot of evasion. Okay, you had the Romans, Roman people going over there. You had the Greeks. You had the people from the Levant travel in and out. So, <laughs> so I mean, you know, there was there is some form of admixture. Okay? And then the people that claim they are North African, not invaders. Well, okay, let's ask a question. What period, what dynasty did your ancestor come over there? If that's the case. Can't you name the dynasty? Because there are so many dynasties in ancient Egypt. There are so many dynasties and there's still a dynasty that we don't even know about. So anyways, um, I can understand how some of them may feel that African-Americans are trying to claim something that belongs to them. I can understand that. OK, I get it because when it comes to our ancestral line, our ancestors came over out of Central West Africa and they was brought here to America against their own will. So I can understand how they may feel about that. But at the same time, we also carry some genetics, some small percentage of North African in us as well, East African. We will discover that as well. So the North Africans are like our distant, distant cousins. Okay. All right. So again, I get it that they feel like, well, African Americans shouldn't just try to tell all our stories because at the same time, you don't have many African Americans living over there in Egypt. All right. So I get the fact that the native of 
Egypt want to be able to tell their stories and want to be able to come to the forefront. But what you're not going to do is try to paint this narrative that we are trying to be racist and all of that. I mean, that's not, I mean, you can't do that because I'm quite sure that there are those who are North African. They are very racist towards other North Africans, other Egyptian people. I'm just saying. You know, now there's some information that our people here in America may have got wrong about ancient Egypt. Okay, there might be some information that might be wrong. And I, 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 hey, and it happens. But to sit here and act like somebody's just trying to take over the, the, the country of Egypt, that's very problematic. That's very problematic because ain't nobody trying to take over. It ain't nobody here from Africa, from America, black person from America trying to go over there to Egypt and take over the country. It's like, we know that's impossible. Okay. But they're just studying the information. They studying the languages pretty much for the most part. If that's for anything, most black people here in America are studying the languages more than anything else. All right. Um, but yeah, I think that this whole argument about whether the Egyptian were black or whatnot, it is just pretty redundant. You know what I'm saying? Because we have to understand that DNA is very complex and to understand. And um it's a lot more to it that we don't really know. So it's gonna continue to be a circular argument as well, was they dark skin? Well, was they light skin? Was they white? This thing other. I mean we have to understand that there's diversity. And as I mentioned before, African people are very diversified people. So everybody's not going to be one phenotype. You know? So that's my whole point. Uh, someone put, it depends on which Cleopatra. They are talking about the Greek ones. However, it doesn't stop the fact they are. They are still racist. A lot of Egyptian that aren't even from there are Egypt are Egyptian. Yeah, and I, I agree. Like I said, yeah, there's a lot of um, but you know what? You write about the Cleopatra, so it we don't know which Cleopatra they talking about in this case. <laughs> and cause the one that I heard of, the, the Cleopatra, she's supposed to be Greek. Not really Egyptian, but she was Greek. She just happened to be over in Egypt or, you know, reign over Egypt, but she was of a Greek background. That's what that's what I was told. Okay. But again, um, like you said, we don't really know. Um But yeah, you can bet that there is racism in Egypt. You can bet, you can guarantee there is racism in Egypt. You can guarantee that. And they put her father was of the Ptolemy dynasty and Egyptian respected her. Okay. Okay. So, again, I mean, I hope that this controversy doesn't get to a point where there is the conflict between African Americans and North Africans. Because there's already enough conflict going on as it is. We don't need another conflict because somebody got upset about the movie and claimed that it was blackwash or whatever. Okay? You know, they already beat up on Kevin Hart for saying that uh, the Egyptian people was black. They beat him up. They beat him up to the point that he had to leave Egypt. They don't even want him back in Egypt because he said that. <laughs> so... But I hope that it doesn't get to a point where it causes a major conflict to where there's a fight going on or, you know, there's some type of serious beef taking place. Because at the end of the day, it's all a misunderstanding. If it's a misunderstanding, you know, sit down, talk about it, try to show proof and evidence, but don't make us out as some type of enemy. Don't make us out as some type of racist. Because we don't have that type of power or control. <laughs> That's the part that baffles me. But yeah. 
All right, but anyways, you guys, um, that's all I wanted to say, and I hope y'all have a good one. Peace to y'all, and y'all be safe. All right.